Hey guys, today Tom and I are going to break down some of the moves we did in our fight this weekend at Polaris. So first off, I'm going to show the toe hold attempt I had. So, I were playing De La Riva with the lasso guard. My opponent had a good base, so I wanted to get him off balance. So what I did was to kick on his leg. The moment I kicked on his leg, he fell down on his knee. So he fell down on the other knee. Like this. this. This gives me a lot of opportunities. I can do sit up guard, I can try to sweep him. But what I did was I grabbed the belt. Because this gave me an opportunity to start doing barabolos. But he stood up when he felt this and started to block my Delahiva. Because he knew that I wanted to create an angle on him. So he held this leg like this and also so he turn. He did a very good job by grabbing under my leg like this. Now it's pretty hard for me to do the barambolo. So instead, I underhooked and put my leg in between, like the matrix structure. Because from here, I can start going for matrix. But he was smart, he hooked my foot like this. And now, it's pretty hard to do the matrix. But when he blocks like this, it gives me the opportunity to grab the leg. So, I swam, got the overhook here, Went up on my elbow, grabbed the toe and turned. I got a good twist on his leg and I could hear his foot pop, but he was uh, tough and he was able to roll out, roll out and we went out of the mats. So it was a close submission attempt, but he was able to defend it. Another move that happened was again, I was playing lasso, but not with De La Hill this time. I were playing with the color sleeve grips. He knew that I like to do the Hiva and Barambolo, so he put his knee to the ground to defend this. Because now I cannot do the Barambolo. So instead, what I did was to create some angle, now some space, and I kicked on his leg and on his arm, and I pulled it. Everything at the same time to do the scissor sweep. Boom. I held this arm the whole time, because otherwise, if I let go of it, he can stand up. You see, and I lose the position. So I held it here and postured up. From here, immediately, I grab this foot and start focusing on getting this away. Because as long as he has the single leg X, it's pretty hard to pass. So I passed, and the moment I passed, he underhooked my leg. I backstep and switch. So I got the backstep. From here, I saw the opportunity to grab the pants and jump for the back. So what a lot of people do when they jump for the back, they put their leg like this. But if you want to do this, I give Tommy the opportunity to counter me. Now he can take my back. You see, so it's kind of dangerous. So to prevent that risk, what I did was jump and not put my leg behind his knee. Because now it's really hard for him to counter and I'm stronger, so I have better, better kick from here. I kick and start chasing his back. But he did a really good job of turning and trying to hide his back to not give it to me. Well, I, I was following him, trying to get the back, but then I saw the opportunity to take the arm. So I put my knee under and threw my leg over here. You can finish from here, but I, if you want to get a really good position, you take your leg over the head as well. So that's what I did. Close my knees and got to submit. This past weekend I had a fight against Gilbert Burns and uh, today I'm going to go through some of my attacks and uh, transitions to the back. So we're going to start off like, in my, when I started, when the fight started I knew like Durino was going to go aggressive so I wanted to be dominant with my grips. So I went to my, my key position like playing the car and sleep like this but in the beginning like he was leaning towards with his leg so I, I knew he was going to do like a, like a knee slide style. So in, I reacted with putting like uh, the key master. Okay, so I was playing here, and, like he was hiding this grip a lot, like he didn't want to be seeing like my fights, he didn't want me to control. So how I prevented this was like I wanted to pull him towards me, and I, I didn't get a deep grip on this, so I just grabbed here to get him a little bit closer, so I get this one here, so I can get I get a strong grip and good pull, and that's when I could grab his his uh, his sleeve, and from here I was able like he was. Uh, like uh, going towards me 
and I was trying to like find a loop choke or something, but it was hard because he was always aware of it. But from there, like I managed to get back into my car and sleep. And from here, that's where the action started. So I'm just, I did just like a basic uh, cover and sleeve uh, on Prada. So I just killed the leg, I killed his hand here, and I just dragged everything I could, and I shot the Prada here. But like make, make, it, uh, make notice to my knee. I didn't have the traditional Prada where I have it on the side. I do like the our type of variation where I put my knee on the other underside. That like it makes it easy for me to sweep. So from here, I just extended as much as I could, like here, and that's when he uh, uh, went to, towards me again. So I opened up and went for the, uh, for the triangle, triangle here. And now, uh, he just tucked his neck a lot, but I had, the, I had the control of the sleeve, so I just pushed down here. And now it gives me the opportunity, because I can't attack this, uh, the, uh, the triangle anymore, because his head is already popped out, but I'm controlling his upper body with the tags. So I was pushing down his hand, and from here I just popped this my head out, no my my uh, my leg out, and I'm still controlling the sleeve, and I'm making like a fix under here, so it's hard for him to pull it out, no pull it down, and then I just dive over here, and I release my grip, and I got the Kimura grip here, and now I just ha I knew like okay now I have a strong position. I started yanking it and pulling it, and he started jumping over. Immediately when he pulled, I started going for that R bar here. And I pulled and I pulled, but he was good, like isolating my knee, getting his ear to my knee, and he was controlling here. And it was a lot of tension on it. I was trying to pull as hard as I could, trying to finish it, but uh, he was uh, successful with defending it, so I had to get up to get in my sweep. I tried to do like a back set, but I failed and I got here. But from there, I was lucky enough to like having a good base. If you turn, so I was lucky enough. Like, I had a good base, so I was not uh, like I was stable here. I knew it was not going to take my back, so I could be managed to get like a good cross base and started getting into a dominant position and started passing it. So that was in the first first minute or so. So I knew like I had to start with an aggressive uh, game plan to take him off guard. I didn't want to let him be a step ahead, I had to be a step ahead of him. Back day against Gilbert, like, uh, I knew like when he got into the double unders, he was getting tired, so he wanted to rest. So, when he got into the double unders, I was already playing my power sleep, and he managed to dive in here. And like, he wanted to circle his head under, and that made me get my leg over here. And control, make sure like I'm controlling his sleep, like here, I'm controlling it so I could get, I was able to break it or like, make him uh, busy. So again, I was playing cover sleeve. From here, it was with old double unders. I put my leg over and I did like a sit up, grabbing here. And from here, it was just like I was waiting, like, okay, what can I do from this position? Since he was holding here, but then I noticed like he was not holding that that hard on my leg. So I had my leg here and just stepped out and I put all my, I put all my weight on the back of his head so he can't stand up with me. So when I'm here, I'm just gonna go around. Here and I go and I teleport to his back. Here and from here now, like I, I was just controlling him, trying to like, because he didn't know where I was at this point. Like he was just as surprised as me. And from here, like I didn't know what to do. Like I knew I wanted to get this back, but I couldn't release and go because immediately if I released, he would just explode and he would go away. So when I had my grip here, I'm just controlling. I'm staying tight. So I did like a foot trip, falling down like this. So I fall down here and I use this leg to push out so I can get the other one inside here, get my twister and go get the back. So I just, from that sequence, it was just about, I had nothing planned with it. It was just like all of a sudden I was there and like okay, I just went to my natural instinct falling down trying to make him trip. And when he it fell down, he lifted up the hip, which made me be able to like lift him up with my hook, get my uh, twister hook on the bottom side. I got it so easily because he lifted up his hip, got it in, got the twister hook, and got the back. Too bad I didn't get the finish, but the sequence was pretty nice.